Hello everyone. If you want to create one of these epic and most viral map animations for documentaries or for reels, here is how you can create one on your phone. To get started, import this image to CapCut. Firstly, change the aspect ratio to 3.4 if you want to create it for YouTube Shorts or TikTok Reels. Then zoom into the map as I am doing. Move the map such that the country that we're gonna highlight is in the middle. Next, add two keyframes right around the 15 frame mark. Trust me, this tiny move changes everything. Then tap on Overlay and add this Chinese map as an overlay. Now move the overlaying map such that it fits in the base map properly. To add an outline, I already had downloaded this outlining map. I will add it. Then scroll to the right tap on Remove BG and remove the background. And tap on Stroke and select the solid line and set the stroke size to 0%. Then go to Adjust, then hit Graphs and change the graph settings as I am doing. Now rescale and move the outline map so it fits around the China map. To animate this, go to Mask and select Circle Mask. Move it onto the side of the map and scale it down and add a keyframe. Then move to one second mark and add another keyframe and scale the mask up such that the whole map outline is visible. This move will create an animated outline. Then keep the outline layer selected and duplicate it. Drag the duplicated layer under the first outline layer. Next select the first layer and tap on adjust. Then go to graphs and make this setting in the white color graph. Now move this layer down just a little bit so that we can see a black outline. Then go to Effects and hit on Blur. It will be applied on the main image, but to fix it, tap on Object and select this black outline. This will turn the black outline into a smooth shadow. Now we will turn this basic map into advanced looking map animation. To do so, firstly go to Splice and select Overlay. Then tap on Overlay and select the character's image. Remove the background. Then go to Mask and select a Circle Mask. And set the feather at 10%. And add a keyframe, and keeping the cursor at the same point, move the mask to the bottom part of the image, and shrink it as much as possible. Then move the cursor to the 27 frame mark, then stretch and move the mask again as it was before. Now simply scale it down and place it on the map. Then add the country's name by adding a text layer. Now go to Fonts and select Fervent, and change the text color to black. Then simply scale it down and place it where you want. For the background, add a white image as an overlay. Then go to Mask and select Rectangular Mask and shrink it as much as possible. And don't forget to add a keyframe. Then move to one second mark and stretch the mask, such that it creates a nice background for the country's name. Move it and place under the text layer. Keep the text layer selected and go to Styles. Then add a keyframe in the beginning and set the opacity to 0%. And move a bit further and set the opacity back to 100%. Now add two keyframes on top of these keyframes. And at the first one, move the text down. Then go back to the keyframes we added in the beginning. At the second keyframe, go to Adjust, then reduce the saturation to 0%. And at the first keyframe, zoom out a little bit. Then add a keyframe in the beginning and zoom out a bit more.
Moving to the end of the clips, add keyframes to all the clips at the same point. Then scroll back to the beginning of the clips again. Add keyframes to all the clips. Then keeping the cursor at the last keyframe, go to Transform. Then tap on Advanced and zoom into the map by 4%. And repeat the same for the rest of the clips. This move will create a balanced, smooth zoom in effect for all the clips. Next, going back to the beginning of the clips, I will add 5 keyframes on the Chinese map that are very close to each other. Keeping the cursor at the second keyframe, tap on Splice and reduce the opacity, and repeat the same at the fourth keyframe. This move will create a nice flickering effect. And this is how the final result should look like. If the video was helpful, you should also watch one of these videos and subscribe for more.